Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to answer the question, why is the sum of two negative numbers always negative? We're going to answer that question using an illustration, so let's get right to it. Now, suppose you have negative 3 plus negative 4. So, we're going to use a number line to illustrate our point, and negative 3 is over here, so let's just label that right now. Now, when you're adding a negative number to yet another negative number, the idea here is what happens is when you're adding a negative 4 to a negative 3, because negative 3 is already negative, adding a negative 4 means you're actually staying on the path that you're already on. So adding a negative 4 means you're going to continue on the negative path four more places. So it'd be 1, 2, 3, 4. So at this particular point, perhaps you will agree that the number stays negative. And what you're doing is because the number is further negative, you're adding the 3 and the 4, and that's why you get negative 7. So when you're adding two negative numbers together, you're continuing the negative path, and so that's why the number always stay negative. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that answers the question, why is the sum of two negative numbers always negative?